Hello everyone, this is Dave from Dave's Resend Things. Okay, has anybody had any luck finding those witches hat at the Dollar Tree? I have searched high and low. And you're probably asking yourself, why are you talking about Halloween during the Christmas season? Well, everybody has been using that witch's hat and transforming it into a Santa hat. And I wanted to do one. And I have wanted to do one for a few years now. I just can't find that witch's hat. <laughs> I have looked everywhere. Everywhere. Anyways... I was on Pinterest one day and I saw this post. I don't know who it was from and it sparked something in me to try it this year. Now what they did was they took, guess what? Hangers. Yes, these bad boys. You know, hangers that you hang your clothes on. They took these and made them into a Santa hat. I decided to experiment. I decided to see if I could do it. Why don't I just get started? and show you how I put it all together. I am starting off with a couple of packages of these Dollar Tree hangers, and these are just in white, along with rolls of red and white deco mesh, and this little Christmas floral pick as well. I am using pipe cleaners and zip ties. And don't forget, I'm gonna be using a cutting utensil, glue gun, and electrical tape too. I am just starting off with chopping off the top part of one of the hangers there and I'm using a large wire cutter to do this and at the same time I'm going to take another hanger with that long end that's going to go right in the middle at the bottom so I'm just chopping that down to size. I'm going to chop another portion of the arm coming down and I'm going to take the other one as well. And it is a little bit difficult to cut these, but with a little bit of help, a little bit of strength, <laughs> we can get through it. So here's the bottom part, and then those two will be at the side, and you can kind of see how it's going to form. I'm going to turn it on an angle here so you can see it better. And then I'm going to take another hanger, measure the space in between that I want, and I'm going to cut that down to size as well. And that's where that one's going to go. It doesn't really fit. I guess I cut it too short. So I'm going to use that at this end here. And now I'm going to mark it out properly for that middle section. Chop that up. And then I'm just going to place that right there. Kind of at the brim of the hat. And the top of the hat is going to be yet another hanger right at the end. And I'm just going to cut that off. And I'm going to place that down. And there we go. We are starting with... Our hat frame and what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna glue a couple of the sections together so I'm gonna glue the bottom half together and then I'm gonna glue the top half together and then this is where the electrical tape is actually gonna come into play I'm gonna cut a piece of electrical tape after the glues dried and then I'm just gonna wrap it around the corners wherever I've attached uh, the hanger together and if you've never used electrical tape, it is flexible. So you can kind of pull it at the same time, which is perfect for something like this. You can pull it and wrap it around those corners. And I use about two pieces on each connection point just to make sure everything's nice and secured. And I'm almost done. You can see my hat taking shape. I'm just going to glue and tape down that centerpiece and I'm all set to decorate. Before I decorate, I'm actually going to cut my deco mesh into 7 inch strips. Now you can do just laying it out like I just did. Or what you can do is you can find a piece of cutting mat like I have here. Or you can cut a piece of cardboard at a 7 inch length and then wrap it around like this. It is a great little tip and a great little hack that I learned years ago. All you do is wrap it around, cut off the excess and then slide your scissors in between and give it a good chop and that's going to cut a whole bunch of deco mesh at seven inches which is exactly what we want so nice little quick hack there to make our bundles i'm going to take four pieces of my seven inch deco mesh and a pipe cleaner that i've cut in half all i'm going to do is i'm going to lay the mesh down curl up and then i'm just going to curl it into a little curl there 
I'm going to place it in between my piece fingers to hold it there for now. If you want, you can use a clothespin or a, a paper clip to hold it if you don't want to hold it in between your hands. I just find putting it in between my fingers works really well for me and I can continue rolling my four little strips of deco mesh and this is going to create one little bundle. So in each bundle I'm going to have four pieces of deco mesh. I take my pipe cleaner, wrap it around right down the center and then I'm going to give it a couple of really good twists and that's going to create our first little bundle. Let's go through it one more time together. So you're taking four pieces of our seven inch deco mesh, our pipe cleaner, and then we just roll our first piece of deco mesh. Once it's all nice and rolled, we're going to put it in between our piece fingers, and then we continue doing the second piece of deco mesh, third, and again, fourth, because each bundle is going to create or sorry, each bundle has four pieces of deco mesh in it. <laughs> Again, once I'm all done adding my four, I take my pipe cleaner, slide it down the palm of my hand, and then I just give it a couple of really good twists to create our second bundle. Look how cute that looks. I love it. So now I'm going to take my red deco mesh and I'm folding it in half. And I'm going to attach it to our frame with a piece of cable tie. And all I'm doing is I'm scrunching up one end and placing that inside the cable tie. I'm going to tighten that really tight and then I'm going to cut the excess of the cable tie off. And now what I'm going to do is I'm folding the deco mesh in half again and I'm going to wrap it around the entire frame right where I want the red to show. At the bottom, I'm going to have the white. Up the top of the hat, I'm going to have the red. And my first roll, because I used two rolls to actually cover the center part, I'm just going to end it with a cable tie, kind of the same way I did the anchor right at the beginning. And then I just really pull it tight to make sure it's secure and chop off the excess. And now I'm actually going to do two rolls. I found one roll didn't really hide the frame well enough. So I used a total of two rolls of deco med, the red deco mesh to create that red portion. And again, I do in the same spot, I do another anchor, cut the excess off. And again, I'm going to fold the deco mesh in half as I roll it around. And this time I'm going to be a little bit neater in rolling it around or wrapping it around the hanger so it, it's nice and even and it looks really aesthetically pleasing let's put it that way and at the very end i'm just going to take another cable tie and attach that end piece i'm going to pull it nice and tight and once i've pulled it tight i'm going to chop off the excess and then i'm going to take my scissors and get rid of that excess deco mesh that's hanging off the edges I don't want that showing, so I'm just going to chop that off. Now that we've got that red portion done, it's time to attach our white bundles at the bottom. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to take my bundle onto the top tier and I'm going to wrap those pipe cleaners around that piece of hanger right there at the top of the brim of the hat. And I just attach and attach and attach <laughs> until it's nice and full. I used a total, for the bundles, I used a total of four rolls of deco mesh. So each piece of deco mesh is about five or six bundles, depending on the quality of the deco mesh. Um, I lost maybe about two or three pieces per roll because the quality wasn't the greatest. But then I just filled in the bottom, as you can see, and it looks so good. And... I just kept a couple up for the top, so it's three in total of my bundles, and I'm going to attach three bundles of the white deco mesh right at the top as well. And our Santa hat is almost done. Look how cute this looks. All I'm going to do is add this little floral pick on there, and there we go. Santa has his festive Christmas hat already set for the Christmas holidays made with a hanger. <laughs> and if you want, I did this elf 
hat. I just use red deco mesh and some ribbon created a bow. And there you go. Another option for using hangers to create Christmas festive hats. I hope you enjoyed today's video because I had so much fun creating this. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you joining me today in all of my festive fun. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can be notified whenever I upload a new video. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye for now.